In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an ID tag or number plate for your bike. What is up everybody? It's the Bike Digger. Welcome to my channel. I am into cycling, bikes, accessories, gear and components. And if you guys are into the same thing, please consider hitting the subscribe button. In fact, I'm just starting out with this channel, so any input, suggestion or support from you guys is much appreciated. Having said that, let's get on with the video. Alright guys, so there could be various reasons why you want an ID tag or number plate for your bike. You are taking part in a brevet, a grand fondo, a cyclosportive event, some sort of long distance endurance riding competition, or you simply want to display some information or identification on your bike. Whatever be your reason, I will show you two methods to set up an ID tag or number plate on your bike. The first method involves setting up a pro level ID tag, which is A, durable, cannot be damaged easily, is water resistant, B, reusable, can be used multiple times, C, easy to mount and dismount on and off your bike. The second method, however, is a quick fix DIY sort of method, which uses tools and items available easily at home. So if you prefer the second method, please make sure you watch the video right till the end. Let's start with the first method. We will need a laminated ID tag. Laminating the ID tag makes it tensile and water resistant. When you laminate it, remember to maintain a margin of at least half an inch along all the four edges. You can get your ID tag laminated at your local stationery or bookstore. The next thing we will need is a universal bottle cage mount. This consists of two parts, a mount and an adapter. The mount is screwed on to a handlebar, a seat post or top tube and the adapter is attached to the mount. A bottle cage is then mounted on the adapter. The universal bottle cage mount is made by various brands but the one I am using is from Decathlon. If you guys want to know more about it, I have linked it in the description below. Apart from this, we will need a multi-tool, a pen or pencil and a paper punch. So these are all the items we will need to make a pro level ID tag for our bike. The first step is to make two holes on the laminated ID tag. These are made along the top edge and the left edge. We separate the bottle cage adapter from its mount, remove the screws and use a pen or pencil to mark two holes on the top edge of the ID tag. You need to make sure that the markings are in a straight line. I also suggest marking two holes on the left edge in case you decide to mount the ID tag on the seat post. We then use a punch to drill these holes. Ensure the stem of the punch aligns accurately with the hole markings and press down. We now have two holes each on the top edge and left edge of our ID tag. We now come to the next step. This step involves mounting the bottle cage mount onto the handlebar or the seat post. Let's consider this rod as a handlebar. We mount it on the rod at the desired spot and use a multi-tool to tighten the screws. You need to ensure the mount grips the rod tightly. This is important to prevent the mount from moving around. This is the third step. We now attach the bottle cage adapter to the mount. The adapter is held on to the mount with a single screw, which is tightened using a multi-tool. Once again, you need to ensure that the screw is tight enough to prevent the adapter from moving around and remain firmly in place. This is the fourth and the final step. In this step, we attach the ID tag to the adapter. This is done by aligning the two holes along the top edge of the ID tag with the two holes of the bottle cage adapter. We then carefully insert screws into these holes. You may need to stretch or bend the ID tag for the holes to align. Lastly, we tighten the screws using a multi-tool and our pro level ID tag is ready. Here's a closer look at it from the top and bottom. Laminating the ID tag makes it stronger, durable and even water resistant. Once you are through with your ride, you simply need to unscrew it from the handlebar, remove it and store it for the next time. 
the entire id tag setup can be stored as is in your bike accessories or components drawer when you need to use it again follow these steps in reverse order check all the screws and you have a pro level id tag on your bike all right guys now as promised i will show you the quick fix method which uses tools and items available easily at home we will need the id tag printed and cut to size some cellophane tape or scotch tape two zip tags to bind the id tag hashtag zip tags #ftw a pen or pencil to make holes and finally a pair of scissors so here are all the things you will need for the quick fix method let's get on with this method then we begin with the first step take the id tag and use cellophane tape to tape all the four edges of the id tag on both the sides once you tape the edges the id tag will look more or less like this although i'm not sure if you guys can really make out the taped edges but you need to make sure that all the edges on both the sides of the id tag are taped we now come to step 2 once we have taped all the edges of the id tag we use the pencil to mark two points on the tape along the top edge remember to leave some margin or spacing from the edge we then use the pencil to apply pressure on the two markings to make holes you need to make sure that the holes are not very big and just enough to accommodate zip tags the zip tags are then passed through both the holes we now come to the third and the final step once we have passed the zip tags through both the holes we are ready to bind the id tag to our bike let's say this rod is our bike's handlebar or seat post all we then need to do is wrap the zip tags around the handlebar tighten them and cut off the excess so this is the quick fix method to set up an id tag for your bike it shouldn't take more than 5 minutes one thing though don't forget to cut off the excess tag otherwise it could interfere with other things on your handlebar depending on the thickness of the paper this should last for at least one or two rides there you go guys i hope you found this video useful and that either of the methods i showed proves useful to you if you found this video to be informative please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or suggestions please let me know in the comments below finally if you haven't subscribed yet here's a reminder to hit the subscribe button until the next video then bye for now